So yeah, kickers stay important and people they starting to catch on to my kicker video. So here's the top 15 kickers going into week 9 in the rankings. Number 1, Justin Tucker at the Indianapolis Colts. This guy, he's the best kicker in the league. Each and every week you're going to start him and this week he's got a nice game indoors so he could have a monster game. Number 2, Will Lutz. Of the New Orleans Saints, this guy, he's always a top kicker each and every week and every season for the last three or four years. And this week, he's at Tampa Bay. It's going to be a shootout. He's going to get plenty of chances, so let's be the second guy. The third kicker, Matt Prater, the Detroit Lions at the Minnesota Vikings. This game's indoors as well. Prater's got a big boot. It seems like each and every week, he's lining up for a 50 plus field goal two even two of them sometimes so Prater I think he's gonna hit one or two of those in this game that's gonna be a shootout with no Matthew Stafford or Stafford it don't matter number four Harrison Bucker versus Carolina you know he's in the top tier team his Bucker in offense in the Kansas City Chiefs just the only thing with Bucker a lot of extra points he's been kicking because Patrick Mahomes the only thing he does is throw touchdowns we saw him throw five last week but this Carolina defense is better than the New York Jets. So Bucker, he might get you 10. The fifth guy is Young Ho Koo of the Atlanta Falcons. And talk about a guy with a big boot. This guy, he could kick him from way long. And this week, he's back home in Atlanta indoors, which is great at the Georgia Dome. And they versus the Denver Broncos. So the Broncos, they're a weak team, it seems like, for the most part. They give up a lot of opportunities to kick his so cool. He's definitely going to be top five. Number six, Ryan Suckup. Of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the New Orleans Saints. The last few weeks suck up in two of his last three fantasy games with double-digit points coming off a 15-point fantasy day versus the Giants on Monday Night Football. And this week, like I said, it's going to be a shootout versus New Orleans. So suck up. If he's out there on your waiver wire, go pick him up. And he was in my start video for kickers this week. Number seven, another guy who was in my waiver wire and start video, Zane Gonzalez of the Arizona Cardinals. He's got a great matchup versus Miami. He's at home indoors in Arizona. So, you know, he don't got to deal with the weather. And these are the type of kickers you want to target. He's in a high-powered offense with Kyle Murray, D-Hop, and Chase Edmonds, who I think have a monster day. So, Zane Gonzalez, he's in the number seven kicker. Number eight, Kyrie Fairbain. He goes to Jacksonville. The weather shouldn't be bad. His offense, they're starting to score a lot since Bill O'Brien finally got shown the door in Houston and this week Jacksonville they give up a lot of points and Fairbane he's gonna get a lot of chances so he's the eighth kicker number nine Chris Boswell he's indoors also at Dallas one of the worst teams in all of football he's gonna have many chances to kick that field goals and put him through the uprights and they're gonna have a lot of scoring opportunities early and often is Pittsburgh so I'm going with Boswell on nine number 10 Robbie Gold versus the Green Bay Packers I know this game's a Thursday night game here tonight and the whole offense is hurt for San Francisco. But I think they're going to settle for a lot of field goals, if anything. And Robbie Gold, he's good as gold from kicking anywhere on the field except 50-plus. He's a little shaky, but I think he's going to get the job done, and he could get you for 7 to 10 points. The number 11 a kicker, Mason Crosby, another guy playing tonight, obviously, of the Green Bay Packers at San Francisco. You know the Packers, they're going to put up, 24 to 30 points each and every week and Crosby last week he was banged up so he only had three extra points because the Packers only scored three touchdowns but tonight there'll be more opportunities for him I think so go Crosby at 11 number 12 Jason Myers of the Seattle Seahawks they go to Buffalo and that who knows what the conditions and the weather's gonna be I think there'll be more opportunities for Myers I know Russ and this high-powered Seahawk offense, they do nothing but score touchdowns. But this week, this build defense might clamp a few drives of touchdowns and hold them to field goals. So I got Myers at 12. Number 13, Brandon McManus of the Denver Broncos. This guy's got a boot, and he's got a great indoor matchup versus the Atlanta Falcons. And I could see him hitting a 50 or 2 yard or deep. So McManus, he's number 13. Number 14, a guy I said to go out there. As my sleeper t kicker is Cairo Santos at the Tennessee Titans. The last two out of three weeks, Santos has had 13 or more fantasy points from the kicker position. And that's very solid. And this week at Tennessee, I see more of that. Of the Bears just not getting in the end zone and settling. So Santos is number 14. And number 15, Dan Bailey. He's at home indoors versus Detroit. It's going to be a shootout of these two teams 
in the NFC North. So Detroit and Minnesota, it's going to be up and down. Fun ball game to watch. And Bailey, he's going to get a couple opportunities. And he's the 15th and final kicker. So that's the top 15 kicker rankings going into week nine.